Okay, welcome to the next video tutorial. This is then um, video tutorial number 13. It's actually the 12th part of doing the actual programming part of it. Um, in the last one, um, we made the comment underscore insert function. Okay, and what we managed to do, let's refresh this, is just put some data in here, was irrelevant, click the post button, and our new comment goes in but because this was only on the client side it never actually got saved on the server side now what we're going to do now is actually pre-populate the data on the server side fictitiously okay because I don't want to move to the PHP MySQL side of it as of yet okay but we're getting there very slowly okay so let's go to our comment underscore um, insert dot PHP which is located inside of your Ajax folder um, now when inside of here what we want to check first of all is that if is set okay and we're going to say post task first of all alright we don't want to let any other data um, be displayed unless post task is set alright now when do we use post task if we come to here and put something in here and look at the console when we sent back, uh, we said um, task, so the post variable of task was there. And we want to know that post task has the, the value of comment underscore insert. So we're also going to say and post underscore task is equal to comment underscore not user insert. All right, so if it gets this far, then we know that post task is set and we want to know that it's equal to comment underscore insert alright so let's just um, say uh, this page uh, uh, this page was loaded only by a post request and put echo uh, or else this page was directly accessed using the get request okay because by default if it's not post then it's get request so let's just save that come to our browser now we can go to the direct path we can say the ajax folder and we can say then the comment underscore insert dot php and as you can see here we get a syntax error on nine because we forgot the semicolon on the end which i know you noticed refresh the page and you say this page was directly accessed let's at least write it properly accessed using the get request okay so that's what we don't want we don't want someone to be able to actually access this one piece of data without um, it being a post request okay so we can now delete that because we don't um, need it as such now okay what we could do you just say else header location and then just chuck them to the main page again all right using the forward slash so let's just do it again okay and as you can see it takes us straight back to the one um, the one page itself all right so now let's check the post request let's refresh the page put some text in here check the post and we say that the page was loaded only by a post request or this page was loaded only by a post request therefore showing us that the post uh, element of our PHP is working okay now we can remove this because we don't want that now we can say user ID okay is equal to post and we say user ID username is equal to post username and did we send back username I oh, forget this stuff no we didn't we didn't send back username so we can get rid of that um, comment equals post comments and yeah that was it that's the only information that we got now it would be crazy to not do this but what we want to do first of all is we want to do add slashes right because we're going to be um, using MySQL therefore we don't want any slashes um, or anything like that in it and this is just going to be um, an integer therefore we're going to um, we're going to cast the information um, to type of integer 
into user ID so we know that it's a number because it's going to get sent as a as a textual form therefore we want to know that it's an integer okay now for the sake and purposes of this um, we're then going to make whoops we're then going to make a standard class okay because this is what we're going to receive um, from the server or fr sorry from the MySQL database when we extract it we're going to extract it as an object so we're going to use mysql underscore fetch underscore object and that one row is going to be um, of type standard class okay therefore we're just going to make a new standard class we're going to see say standard class user id is equal to user id we're going to say comments equals then comments and then username equals then um, we'll just say David Thorne and then uh, let's say profile 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 image equals then uh, images photo dot jpeg okay so this is the information which we're sending back Okay, and then we're going to say echo, right, because this is the information we're going to echo. We're going to say JSON, encode, and we're going to encode this as JSON in a textual form. Okay, and you'll understand this in a minute when we do this. Okay, so let's come back to um, our page. Let's just clear it, clear this, because we don't need to do a page refresh um, on, or on the client side, because we're doing the same request back to the server. Let's just chuck some information in here change it and you can see here the response text which we got was this textual form okay and we got user ID equal to one comment that username and you can see here that we actually got it of type integer when we sent it back um, and then we got the profile image of this here now what we need to be able to do is actually use this information on the JavaScript side so let's come back to our comment underscore insert and we know now that this data is of type JSON so we need to be able to convert it to JSON now our comment comment underscore insert is the function that is actually going to insert this in so what we're going to do in here is we're going to say jQuery dot pass JSON okay and we're going to pass that in so we're going to pass this in as an object now because this is going to turn that JSON, that text which we receive back, into a JavaScript object. Okay. Now, inside of our, our comment insert, we need to know that we've got data as an argument which we can use. Now, um, we sent back the user ID. Okay. Now, at this point, basically we sent the user ID from the one server. Okay. But what we do need Okay, also in addition to this is then the comment underscore ID okay and we're going to say that this is then 24 for the sake and purposes of doing this okay because um, there's going to be more than one comment in your database so we now with this underscore we're going to use this as then um, the the um, the comment ID so we're going to say data dots comment ID alright now let's just copy this and we're going to say then in here and we're sending it back as we come to our PHP profile underscore image this is the information which we're going to use it's exactly the same okay and now let's oh I just took that and now we want to have oh David come on the person's name so the person's name here was then username so we want to remove this bit here say username now the actual text that we're sending back come here and it was comments save that let's just check so it was comments and uh, that's basically it for now so as we send the data back now um, well, let's just check that we're actually doing this um, comment user ID yeah that's fine okay it's still a little bit 
a um, little bit wrong but we're slowly but surely getting there so it actually displays the correct information so um, this is a comment and it will be displayed correctly in the box below oh also I traveled to the server actually let's put that on a new line shall we I travel to the server and back again huh. okay let's just do this now and as you can see this is a comment and it will be displayed correctly in the box below oh also I travel to the server and back again alright now um, the thing here is that when it got sent back let's have a look posts so it got sent back um, but we didn't get the um, the line breaks now can we it did get them there but let's maybe we can detect it we'll leave that for now maybe detecting it okay so you can see here that the actual um, <coughs> the text which we sent back okay um, actually we could probably do this on on here so let's then just say string replace I think this might work if it doesn't then don't shoot me okay then n or backslash l which is a back uh, which is a, a new line we're going to change to break and we're going to do this and then we're going to put that there so let's see whether this works now let's say um, this <coughs> is on a new if I can even type properly today new line okay there we go cool so just by doing that that quick little um, change uh, we got the break the um, the break tags on there as well so it means that however they enter the code however they enter the, the comment in here it goes with a new line which is what we want okay so that's that bit done now and if we look on here we can see that yeah okay it's um, underscore underscore 24 okay all the time right that basically means that we can start now um, with we can start now with inserting this stuff into the database okay so let's end this one tutorial here and start with actually building our tables in the database shall we okay see you for the fun part in the next tutorial